welcome to the stat pro course and this course we'll be learning stat pro from the very very basic aspects aspects to the beginner level by the end of this course you will be able to design 3d frames as well as 3d structures and even do the analysis so let us first begin with the welcome screen so when you open the stat pro software this will be the with. This is Stat Pro version V8i. The company that creates or, the, or makes Stat Pro is Bentley. So this is the so this is the Select CD6. We have project tasks where you can click on new project. You can open saved projects on your system. You can open from project wise we'll be looking it into this later then we have configuration that is the system settings we have backup manager license management and in the recent files you can see all the recent files that you have, you have opened or created in the past then we have help topic section where you can take the downloaded help of the controls of various aspects related to the software and you have got your license configuration you have got advanced analysis engine whatever licenses you have or you wish you can go for it right here and in the end you have start news now when you are connected to the internet you'll be having a regular update of any news which is given by the company let us start with configuration now when I go into configuration the first thing I see is base unit now since most of the all of the countries except for United States work in the metric system so we can choose metric English system is the imperial that is the foot pound inch system the metric is your regular meter kg system so we'll be using metric system next we have other options of the connection and some file related options then you have input output file format let us keep this as it is right now we'll be looking into this when we are ready for the result analysis then we have section profile table now we have all of the major codes which are used by different countries you got american code british code dutch european french german indian right we'll be using the indian code which is selected for this particular software while using you can even install custom table then all the databases which are present when we have installed the software will be available here so we have already got the Indian sections we also have error, error format let us let uh, leave as it is then we have global access orientation now this is very important by default the x y axis is in the vertical x z is on the horizontal plane so when you are creating the plan of any structure or building you will be working in the x z plane and when you are uh, adding the height of the building you will be going in the y direction so we have y up configuration this is a little bit important when you are adding the creating the geometry of the structure then we have some certain stat design codes which are being used you can either change it uh, while we are assigning the properties of the material within the working area or we can change it by default from here now if you go down we get 
IS800 which is the standard steel design code which is to be used. IS800 2007 LST is limit state design and WST is for working stress design. So we've got IS800, LST and WST, IS801 and 802. Also SP16 is present here. For concrete design also we have similar IS code. Here we have got 13920 IS and SP63 and other codes Mexican, ACI is American and BS is British standards. Right, these are the various codes available for concrete design. Then the aluminum design code is aluminum US by default because we have not installed the other codes during installation. Timber, mainly timber uh, houses are not constructed in India as such and they are part of your American or Canadian system. So let it be whatever the code is given here and we have got shear wall design we, we can use the IS456 for shear wall design code now shear walls are important when we are designing the structure which has shear walls as well as any structure which has lift in it because lift will require a shear wall construction so you can go for IS456 next we have white background or black background it is easier to work with the white background so we'll keep it as white then we have Bentley Connect as well as other applications, news channels and working directory. Now let us just accept all of these parameters and start a new project. So when we click on the new project, you are presented with this dialog box where we can name the file. Let us name the file as lesson number 1. Right? It will be saved in the directory which you are choosing. You can choose from this particular option. Then we have length units, inch, foot, millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter. We will be working with meter right here. Then we have force units. We will be working with kilonewton. Now we have got space, plane, floor and truss. Right? Space structure is a 3D frame structure with loads applied in any plane. Then plane structure is bound by global XY coordinate system with loads in the same plane. Right? Then you got flow structure. It is a 2 or it can be a 3D structure which has no horizontal global exit movement of the structure. For example, uh, let us take a slab. So slab will be a flow structure which has no movement in the exit plane but it can move up and down according to the load supply which is the Y direction. And in the end we have truss structure which has truss members and it is important that truss members have no bending moment. All the truss members are either under axial compression or axial tension. There is no bending. Let us start with a simple plane structure. We come next. Now we have got options of adding beam, plate, solid. Let us look at it one by one. Beams using the construction grid. Plate will be presented with such a graphic here. You can add a solid which is a 3D creation. But in this case you will be only having two dimensions because we selected the plane. You can choose structure wizard or you can 
use the stat editor where you have to write down all the nodes and the geometric uh, in the coordinate system way without any graphical use or you can edit the job information let us start with adding the beam <laughs> 